Harrison, Harrison Moore, history teacher here at SFG College, but you're going to take on a running challenge. Tell me what you're going to do. Yes, well, for our, for our sins, uh, we are going to be doing the Hackney Half Marathon um, on May 22nd. So um, we've decided to run it to raise some money for Mind in West Essex. They support our school with mental health. I was going to my next question to you. Why, why choose Mind? They do a great deal of work, not just with our school, but other schools in the trust, um, BMAT Trust. And so we wanted to show our appreciation and support them. And, and Chris, um, will this be your first half marathon? Uh, it will actually be my second one. Uh, I did one in, in Iceland a few years ago, which was quite a colourful place to do it. So, But I was a little bit injured, so I, I want to get a better time because I didn't think I would reach my full potential. So I'm quite excited. Although I do, I am currently carrying another injury, so it, but I'm really looking forward to it. And it gets us out on a Tuesday evening after lessons, doing some running. And yeah, I think May when we do, it'll be a really nice, really nice moment to go for a half marathon just as the sun's coming out as well. So I was gonna ask that Harrison, how's training going? Good. <laughs> One of the reasons we wanted to do this was about showing uh, resilience. So we're not professional runners um, and we, all three of us, I think, at some point have had injuries. Uh, but it's just nice to, to run together, get out, like Chris said, after lessons, clear, clear the mind. Um, but we've done three or four runs together so far, up in the mileage each time. Uh, so you mentioned mind, Hugh, is, and they do work in the school. Is, is mental health a really important part of, of education now? Mental health, it's quite a new area that's being targeted, but it's so good that it is now being targeted. Um, you can see that the students have benefited from the support that they're now, they're now getting. And um, I think we're all really pleased that we've got a relationship with mind and we're starting to talk more openly as a society about mental health because it's going to really help people. And the three of you running together, so I'll go to Chris, the three of you running together, has that helped? Yeah, I think so. I think so. We, all three of us have, have done bits and pieces. We run now and again. And I think it came up in conversation a couple of months ago. It's like, oh, well, we're all, we all call ourselves runners. Maybe we should put our money where our mouths are and uh, put, enter a half marathon. But I think you're right. It, it, it encourages each other. It gives each other a bit of accountability and say, you're running after school? Because I am. I was like, okay, yeah, I better. I better. So I think, no, it's good fun. And um uh, it's it's nice and we can we can, at a lunch break we can get the map on the screen and we can pl plan our route and things like that so it's it's good and I think running brings so many benefits not least mental health but also um, obviously physical health and yeah it's a way for a uh, uh, reason for us three to uh, talk about something else that doesn't involve teaching I guess which is quite nice as well I find that you're key <laughs> have you got a, a target in mind for sponsorship um, so at the moment we're looking for five hundred pound to raise. If we can get further than that, then uh, everything is a bonus. Any support that we can give back to Mind uh, to show our appreciation for what they do, um, sort of ev every pound, every penny matters. And it's only uh, the end of February now, but if we come back maybe uh, just before the end of April, we'll see how your progress is getting on. Yeah, hopefully we would have smashed it.